All right. Good morning, everybody. It's your boy, Akeem. Welcome to this vlog. Here to talk about the Louisiana Monroe Warhawks for the 2015 college football season. Now, last season, Louisiana went 4-8 and eight overall. This is going to be an interesting year. I think this is going to have the same results as what they did last season. Now, starting with the issues at quarterback, Pete Thomas is no longer with the team. He was a graduate senior last season. And they do have a couple quarterbacks who's going to be duking it out. Starting with Braille or Bro, who had two touchdown passes and eight interceptions in his career, which is going to give Garrett Smith, the freshman, an equal opportunity to become the starting quarterback. Now, that offense actually averaged 20 points per game, and their top weapon is Rashawn Caesar, who was the first team all conference honors as a wide receiver with 872 yards receiving and three scores. Here's their top and only offensive weapon for the offense. For the Warhawks. Now, and as far as the defensive side, um, all the players that I'm going to mention are seniors, and I do like them a lot. Starting with the player who I believe is going to be the defensive player of the year honors come towards the end of the season, and defensive honors and defensive lineman. Um, Gerard Johnson, he's six foot one, two hundred and ninety pounds. Now, last season he registered ninety-two tackles and six sacks, and they now have another first-team All Honors in safety in Mitch Lane, who had ninety-plus tackles and three interceptions himself. And they do have a second-teamer at linebacker and Hunter Kissinger. This is a this is a decent defense, and one thing that they definitely need help with is on the offensive unit. If they don't um, turn over the ball and put the possession back to the opposing offense, that puts their defense is back onto the field, which is going to be extremely difficult, especially down the stretch of the games. Now, last season, the Warhawk defense allowed 26 points per game, but it was mainly due to the fact that the poor play on the offensive side. The offensively, they just need to do a better job just holding on to the football, controlling the time of possession, and not committing any turnovers to put the defense back onto the field. Now, as far as the recruiting process, they do have a couple of decent recruits, okay? And Cortez Cisco, the outside linebacker out of DeSoto, Texas. They have Xavier Diaz, a decent athlete, and defensive end Sam Miller. Those are the top three recruits entering this season. Now, this year, because they're going to have a change at quarterback, and I'm not sure how the performance is going to put par at quarterback, I think this team is going to have a 3-9 and nine season, one game less than what they did last season. Like I said, they have have a good defense but it's the offense that is a, a problem that causes the defense to get back on the field and wear out especially coming towards the end of the game so I think this team is going to go three and nine overall this year now the next time I'm going to catch you guys will be in just a couple of minutes I have I believe five more blocks for you for today thank you for watching this blog I'm your man Keen McCall be easy